Here is everything new in iOS 13 Beta 5. Welcome everyone, it is Andrew here from Apple Insider, and we've got the fifth beta of iOS 13 installed on our iPhone and our iPad. Let's go ahead and jump in with everything that is new this time around. First up, the share sheet. It got a pretty big makeover with iOS 13, and there are further enhancements in the fifth beta. It is now grouped up into sections, so you have your favorites, ones that are relevant to this specific app, then just everything else you have going on. When you go in to edit those actions, you can see those categories for yourself. Favorites, you can add additional ones to. Then of course you have the one specific to Safari or whatever app you're in, and then everything else in the list. It certainly makes it easier to parse that long list of actions. Moving on, we once more got a new welcome screen inside of the Messages app, so once you launch it for the first time after updating to iOS 13 or the 5th beta, it'll walk you through the new features of Messages, including your new profile, which can be shared with everyone or just people that you know. Inside of Health, we also got a similar welcome screen going over the summary, the highlights, and the cycle tracking, the big three new features here in the iOS 13 Health app. For Apple Watch users in the Activity app under the Awards tab, there are now a few additional awards available. For those who have met their move goal above 1,000 times, we'll see awards for 1250, 1500, 1750, and 2000. So any of those high achievers will now be awarded for getting those marks because Apple of course didn't really have anything above the 1000 mark, now those are available. The Safari tab or icon when 3D touched or haptic touched, there is returned the new tab options. You can open Safari, jump right into a new tab. Very easy. We also reworked Volume Hub with iOS 13. That is still existing, but it is now a little bit thinner and there's haptic feedback provided to it. So as you go like on the top and the bottom and make those changes, it is a little bit more granular this time around as well. Inside of the Home app, Apple previously removed some of the nicer looking wallpapers and replace them with these new gradient ones. They're a little bit boring and with iOS 13, Apple is changing it up again. When you go to choose from existing, you have six new options that are a little bit smoky and hazy looking in all these bright vivid colors. So there are six new wallpapers. They do take a second to actually take effect when you apply them, which is likely just a beta bug for us. We'll apply a second one here. You can see it will switch the den icon or background to the bright red one, something a little more colorful that you can see. They're still pretty subtle, not anything crazy, but they don't have the faux actual like interiors like those previous shots that Apple had. The Shortcuts app, which now comes pre-installed on iOS 13 devices, has had a tab removed. The Automation tab is no longer here in the center between My Shortcuts and Gallery. That is actually just a temporary thing and that will be returning in a future build. When your device is not connected to Wi-Fi in that top right hand corner where you'll have the 5GE, LTE, whatever that signal is, it is larger and now it lines up with that top signal strength. So just a small tweak there in that typography. Inside of the mail application, when you have multiple drafts open and you hold on that, you can actually see that drafts open up in a tabbed view, similar to how tabs are displayed in Safari. It's pretty easy to see all your open messages at once. Inside of CarPlay, we add additional tweaks to the now playing screen, and inside of settings, you have an option to toggle off show album art, so you don't have to show the album art if you would not like to. Over on our iPad, inside of settings, we have a new option for our home screen. Under display and brightness, we have an option at the bottom for more or larger icons. So we can choose to have bigger icons, which reduces the number to four by five, or you can make them smaller, fit more on the screen, which will change it to six by five. Personally, I still think that there's a lot of space here and they could put even more icons. It's still frustrating that there's so much space there. You could definitely increase that density further. Inside of accessibility, we have small tweaks to the mouse pointer. It can now get even smaller than it could in the past. We did see that it could be changed in previous betas to different sizes. Now it can go even smaller. Really nice, takes up less space on the screen, especially if you have a smaller iPad and not the 12.9 model. So that is it. That is everything we've found so far. If you find additional changes, let me know on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU, and we'll see you in the next beta. Hey everyone, did you guys like that video? be sure to click on that like button so we can create content that we know that you guys want to see. And follow Apple Insider on all social media channels. If you want the best prices on any Apple gear, check out the Apple Insider price guide that is updated daily. And until next time, we'll see you later.